Welcome to College Recruiter, where we believe that every student and recent grad deserves a great career. I'm Anna Peters, Content Manager, and I'm speaking today with Kyle Hartwig, Senior Human Resource Specialist with the National Institute of Health. Thanks for joining us, Kyle. Kyle. Happy to be here. He developed a tool for federal government recruiters who are engaged in targeted outreach, and the tool has seven detailed steps which guide recruiters in finding and engaging talent for particularly hard to fill positions. There's a link on the College Recruiter blog, blog to the full tool, so you can see that in detail. But today we wanted to ask Kyle about a little bit about the reasons why he developed this, the, tra the challenges that he's seeing out there, and how he thinks that recruiters will um, benefit from, from reviewing this tool. So first, Kyle, uh, tell us a little bit about what are you seeing out there? What are the challenges and the problems that prompted you to create this tool? Well, it, it seems as if there's a whole swath of um, differences in how agencies recruit. But a lot of agencies, if not uh, uh, a lot of them in general, um, are kind of afraid of doing active outreach. And I think one of the things they're concerned about is ethical concerns, staffing regulations, uh, USA Jobs, um, very stringent laws associated with hiring, um, and uh, short timelines in terms of posting positions um, and hearing from their customers. So my thinking is that the American public deserves the best for the resources we have. And our agencies that are staffed to the best with the best have the best chances of fulfilling their missions. Mm -hmm. hmm, interesting. So tell us really briefly, what are those seven steps? Well, they're really simple. Um, number one, prepare. So when you hear from a client of a need or a talent opening, it could be one, it could be two jobs, um, but research the opening. Um, and then two, have a meeting with the whole hiring team. That could include human resource specialists, administrative officers, directors, everyone involved. We call that the intake meeting. And then number three, write your plan down, send it back to the client, and um, then start identifying your talent prospects. So that would be sourcing, looking on the internet to find potential people, categorizing all of them, and then the next step is to gain feedback from your client and the hiring team on what talent prospects they like and why. And then um, the second to last is to nurture candidate relationships with any of those people that you do reach out to. This is where it gets creative, on-site visits, um, virtual chat sessions, whatever is available, whatever tools you have, many of them are free and at no cost. And then last, track and share your success, and we call that follow-up. So tracking your candidates throughout USA Jobs um, and really tracking the whole interview process and uh, whether they accept the offer, that whole piece gives you feedback and your recruitment team on what practices are being successful. Mm -hmm. All of those seem really important. And it seems that if recruiters or recruitment department is not employing that model, they might be missing out on some really um, high quality talent out there. In your opinion, what is something that you just described, something on your tool that you think most recruiters in, the, in federal government are not currently doing? Well, I think that's a really good question. Um, one aspect of the tool is a post analysis. It's a checklist. It allows a recruiter to go through and see what practices uh, they were able to use during the recruitment process. And I think it's particularly valuable. One, it can give a, um, a self-assessed feedback to a recruiter on where they stand. And a lot of recruiters have behaviors that um, show trends. So, for example, really good working with a candidate not so great working with the hiring team. And those things become evident with a few post analysis um, checklist reviews uh, that a recruiter might do just for a few recruitments. Mm -hmm. Good. What is one more thing that you think federal government recruiters might uh, take away from this, or maybe another way to put that is, what is a lens that they might or should have when they review it, questions they might have in their head? One lasting thought. You know what comes to mind is the idea of be fearless. Um, don't, don't immediately think there's regulation against this or there's a law that prohibits this or there's 
some reason or some practice. Many of those are in fact myths. And when you really dive down oh. into it, you find out that that's not the guidance that Congress has really given. It's not what OPM wants agencies to do. So be fearless in your outreach. Um, and I would say start there. Great. That seems like good advice. Thank you very much, Kyle. Again, we'll have a, a link on the blog to the full tool uh, and uh, you can read more in detail. Have a great day, Kyle, and it was nice to speak with you. Bye everybody, bye Anna.